dear friends it was james joyce who once said about writers excuse us we are olives he meant that writers yield their best in times of trauma like the one that we are passing through perhaps this pandemic also brings us close to an epochal moment when we are compelled to reconsider our relationship with our own selves others with nature and with the cosmos itself here are a few poems and pieces of art put together under the common title voices from far and near under the auspices of the ayappa panikkar foundation i am happy to welcome all of you to watch this series i shall begin with a poem recently written which in some sense reflects the present time it's called the circle the circle joy is a narrow space between two sorrows a space lit by the morning sun where a sunflower is in bloom amidst fresh blades of grass that two people can hardly occupy and maybe a pale butterfly too you can dance there with movements and gestures possible in that narrow space and sing in a low voice can even laugh mildly tickling the baby sunlight but there is little time you know it too the sun will soon grow harsh sorrows will excuse you from both sides you may even get trapped there never able to get out when the whole body bleeds you may suspect that joy is but a snare it's not all wrong but you were able to see the flower and dance but pain it is eternal and its space infinite like the abyss that once trapped the earth you will have to leave the earth to see there are stars even there who knows your soul may fly across many light years to land in a star you will get a new body there then you will know joy is but a narrow space between two sorrows people are afraid of breath that they'll inhale this hell or exhale it on others afraid of touching lest they pass it along people are living as unscreamed shrieks in the anguish of an angst abated only by opiated oblivion sir ivan orak i misheard thinking it was an irishman who picked up the virus in california instead of the title of this arcane in reverse that is uh, coronavirus a countenance on the screen a voice at time broken streaming into the empty rooms choral grief ancestral grief of mother through time hey old shark is there a hook hanging above my head it pricks while moving the wave caresses as if to kiss yes there is lady shark a hook that hangs above you and all the flushes the gallows of greed all we hope for is that everything can be as it as it was on second thought that it gets better everything has to get better when things have to change may it be for the better
We need to be better to each other, better to the animals in cages and slaughterhouses, better to the world and to nature. We need to make less of a mess and buy less. All we hope for is a fairer society. All we hope is that everything gets better. Everything has to get better now. We all know that uh, we are a nation filled with painful stories of displacement starting from the partition era. Today, at the time of the corona crisis, we are seeing it again. Helpless, displaced migrant workers walking miles and miles to reach their homes. Hope we as a nation find better solutions in the future to recognize the plight of the poor who courageously joined to fight corona crisis by starving in isolation. Drops by drops. <clears throat> Drops by drops, corollas in my heart, petals a shake without a gust of wind. A ray gives itself a dawn and becomes almost day, and I, I stay. A jail for a poet. I was beaten up by my father for poetry. A butterfly came and solaced my heart. I was beaten up by a college gang for poetry. A sparrow came and solaced my mind. I was beaten up by my own political party. Nobody came. And I realized an ideology is a jail for a poet. I am not alone in the loneliness now. But I am a little confused between a sparrow and a butterfly. Night after night, a storm flooded the reefs with garlands of children breaking through the darkness in peals of white laughter. Gita. Gandhi was a man who used to read Gita every day and always carried it with him. This was God said to Gita Nithyena Gita Vaikim Sada Kundarakim Chedirna Ala Yirno Gandhi Anganadane God said. Do you think it will rain, at least this time? On the clothesline of the sky, cloudlets look like shriveled, dried up rags. How long have we been waiting? Raising hopes by their appearance, they disappear in no time. For ages we have been watching, they overwhelm the sky. With the smell of rain and wind, we eagerly look. Together we play kabaddi with soil, holding our breath. Carrying the peers of life, and sing minstrels, making Bhatkamma of our dreams. When an insufferable grief befalls, bully ourselves to silence and restart the long haul once again. All alone. He stayed alone in the house. His wife and children occupy the same house. His wife and children occupy the same house, and when then he is all alone in the house. The wife has a house within the house. He stays alone in the house, and he too is all alone in the house. The children to have a house within the house. They stay alone in the house. Even then, he is all alone in this house. This is a crucial time for the world itself. But as an artist, according to my beliefs, it is an appropriate time for the artist to utilize their precious time to create their art and ideas. Also, I believe that this is the right opportunity for both flora and fauna to flourish from their endangerment. To be honest, COVID-19 is not the real virus, but the humans are. Because we have been destroying the nature for our own benefits, for our own self-interest. So Corona is a cure to this planet Earth and human beings are the viruses. We can sit in this tree's shade.
listening to his song how beautiful is this nature and world isn't it now how many leaves are there on this tree something like that is there in that song my poetry from where does your poetry springs forth asked the man with spectacles does it drizzle down from the wandering clouds is it poetry the brightest blossom that springs up from the fertile soil of dreams is it the sad note of unfulfilled love well i do not know my poetry it generates from intense grief as mushrooms sprout with each thundering poems pours out with each blow that life strikes paradox you proclaim identity but for yourself you are a nobody remaining a remaining as a trees in remote recess of a frame a box of useless items now living not to win but to offer success after a long journey of ages you may you may remain as a faint line at far end of service this night is not a solid rupee meant to be spent at one go when the darkness is still nascent in its iridescence this night demands to be spent watch by slow watch as 16 loose annas each as opulent as the moonlit savanna ringing the city we see in the vicinity of our twined bodies I slowed the rotation of my engine which drank my blood moved the exhaust to the exterior and became addicted to fresh air please soak me in the sauce of this morning those in the apartment strike the vessels stifled by love by virtue grateful out of fear they sing with an open heart smile at each other under the mask exchange jackfruit and mangoes praise the stale times since love comes solely in stale times praise the stale time since love comes solely in stale times ticks away tirelessly as its hands bleed with the injuries of time that has lost its pace slogans too lost with the fury of ocean are now being washed ashore stars slip from a losing grip of fish and disappear in dust endless life like a never ending path that fails to predict life or death despite walking for miles many questions echo from crackling fire of funeral pyre with no one around you have walked on the bridges of swords for centuries shedding blood all the way raced on horses to the peaks of the mountains that could be simply nailed down but ultimately it is death that has to tell how many miles are left learned few words and thought you are writing a universal classic now you yourself gave a name to something that is invisible to naked eye as it started hunting you stopped your race and detained yourself behind the closed doors you know the unseen is laughing at you and do you know in which color your blood will shine when you see the rising sun next morning if at all you stay alive 
check if there is any aura of corona left around you even like smoke in these days of eclipsed hope with your cleanly washed hands if at all you happen to survive thank you we are on the path to survival as the world is shell shocked amidst the ravages created by the pandemic covid-19 to an extent we have embarked on the threshold of safety away from the anxieties and the gloom aroused by covid-19 we are saddened to fight against this corona world war the world itself become a close to prison for us we are convincing the unending power of the smallest the formless and we humans all feel the most inferior to all all beings other than us become the owners of this earth my village health is gone and this metro city is present only misery is forever how can i fight the covid-19 world war how can i fight the covid-19 world war words why are words like this black drizzly drops on a form of white space why are words like this visible but mute the invisible heard the season is over and all the birds have left for siberia in search of a change of spell not passing down even a feathery hint about the journey only a tiny sparrow with a wing broken lay unwanted wrapped up in snow in some remote seclusion thank you words do collapse bomb senses tumble birds and bees with no bounds so seeds and jungles thrive between the borders kids here and there play mingled as friends comes rain and shine fall and spring in time easier indeed to trust to silence than to trust in words so silence itself has rested remembrance of things past it happens when you sit alone there is no thinking back if you don't sit alone you think about things past when you get tired there is no thinking back if you don't get tired the thorny ball here it comes the thorny ball here it comes the thorny ball how cute but you do not dare to touch to meet an early fall active lads who crave for play keep this crazy ball at bay what an awful holy day those days i know the language of earth when i step in the mud legs didn't slip didn't get septic running or swimming in the rain won't get fever or make me cough in the sunny season even after running through the outskirts of wetland and lap of slides earth my face looks like a clear sky and my body feels the cool of pure water those days i know the language of earth my poem says news from mars today on earth every man is an island flimsy bridges made of words longing to be rainbows speak of evil waves 
shattering the roots of doom. Returning to abode, shops, schools and shrines, everything are closed. Universe is infected with virus. What we earn, learn and lived is all trash. Come now, nature's abode is our school. At least now, we will rectify our mistakes. Day and night. We de-learn and relearn. After locked the body in homeroom, he goes to work. How many days to go outside? To be stayed at home. Ten day is over after declaring the above emergency message by the government. It was like a forest fire or storm. Then he goes towards comrade Appu. He is always at the ceiling above the fireplace beside his house. He was laying by reading a pamphlet about how to be exploited Indian oppressed people. He would eat nothing within two days. Neither inside nor outside. Kinsmen are not by my side, when feel pain, who gets attached? Sunshine glows, depth of darkness, hopping rain, the balladic aroma, but occasionally a morning star rises inside, neither inside nor outside. The poets who ponder on virtue and justice passed on. You and I continue to lyricize. Shadows of the virus bewilder our strokes from the beginning of spring to the vernal equinox. The summer still seems far. Will I see you again? The lamb. When the surface of earth is drenched with showering darkness, the lamb offers light. When the surface of earth is drenched with showering darkness, the lamb offers light. When the lamb is extinguished, there will be the stars. And when the stars are extinguished, there will be the sun. When the sun is extinguished, there will be the moon. When the lamb, the stars and the sun and the moon are extinguished, you will be my lamb and me yours. A folklore. A man gathered all the worthless stones in his path, worshipped it, praised it and gave meaning to his God. Instead, God picked up all the words that slipped between our babble, vision that burned under our dim eyes, memories lost in our listless life, anger that vented out from trivial tips, tied them together in a string of thought and gave poetry to his follower. When I have tried to close the door and light door, there is a room within a room and another room 
within that and uh, within that room within all those rooms wall door window roof floor light of solidified cliff a pillow soaked in tears thank you. holding on to fever's thin thread walking slowly softly it came with no shawl no umbrella cover no endless tingle in the early dawn the moon still rising and on the branch the owl hooting alone so this coming the wave of life that migrated to their limbs when they went flying spreading their hair seeping with leaves they will return in a night painted like mussel shells when we begin to forgot i speak to you from the title of this poem speak to you and ask you to listen i speak to you unnaturally i speak to you because in your listening to my shattered voice syllable after syllable explaining with this composition there is a chance for a meeting and you know that when strange eyes meet things happen there are touches the battle grounds battle grounds used to be in the frontiers thrown heads used to hang on the occupied fences pools of blood caused by apartheid nerves of hatred coiled around life the battle closer always brought extreme sorrow all houses were the faces of battle grounds a bat and a man a bat could smile be a child and breastfeed and also menstruate the bat really wanted to laugh and weep like a or weeping sounds like a laughter and is heard and spread all over the world the coarsed friendship sparkles in the sun la idiosincrasia un nombre una ambulancia un trayecto un viaje yo solo soy un espectador estoy mirando es mi mundo gente en las calles el frío un panorama distinto los ojos expresivos en silencio comparto su mundo no nos conocemos pero estamos ahí formando parte del todo de lo nuestro lo tuyo lo de él lo de ellos I hold my heart put my quivering ears to the ground to listen to the piercing bolero of joy in the sudden silence of earth's astral moves as humanity goes hiding in the hallows of bocachos human comedy shedding a sea of tears large enough for a million buddhas to bathe and rise remorseless i hold my breath in terror at the beginning was the outbreak blobs of swarming virus caught red handed fastened themselves on human lungs above those karmic laws that got bled out the stars rip the effects of human intention strayed swelled how one lives frontlined with gloves and masks mock at causality casually proliferate in invisible tweets with red mountain clouds dismantle the short supply of legends i am the poem no one has written yet i traveled up to the fingertips of many poets but retreated to the dream like an express to law as i was without script i am not afraid of language 
as long as it has a future tense one day i will find my words a wonder struck child will see a sail unfold and rise slowly on a vacant page under a new star on behalf of ayyappa punikar foundation i would like to thank the poets and artists from various countries who have responded to our call and come together with their works to deal with the corona times to conclude this program let me just recite the last four lines of the poem he gagari by dr ayappa padiyar he exhorts the poets brandish the torch fulfill the urge to create cut off the barriers of time and space keep the spirit ablaze that will burn up every trace of death dealing darkness thank you